New tonight, the death of a furry companion is always difficult, but on top of the heartache, local pet owners have learned they were scammed trying to get their pet cremated. NBC4's Darsha Phillips is live in the newsroom with more on this story. Darsha. Yeah, just a nightmarish uh, situation for pet parents. Robert Balog and his friend Tori thought their worst day was when their 21-year-old cat Stewie died. But they say what transpired after they gave Stewie's remains to a company for cremation was much worse. I mean, he was the best. I had him for over 20 years. Robert Balog and his friend Tori lost their beloved cat Stewie in February. The day he died, they searched online for a 24 hour pet cremation service and found We Care. Oh, you know, it's private cremation. We do everything in house. We come in a black car. Tori and Robert say when We Care picked up Stewie, there was no black car. But they paid the $560, hoping to get back an urn with Stewie's ashes. But then they say We Care ghosted them. He became less and less responsive and then I, I I Google searched them more and I went and found all their reviews. Dozens of reviews from customers who either didn't get the service they paid for or never received their pet's ashes. I thought that they threw him in a dumpster. I thought they threw his body on the side of the road. I very much thought that we were never going to get him back. Tori and Robert posted a video to Instagram about their experience. That got WeCare's attention, and they promised to return Stewie. What happened next is bizarre. Robert says he drove to a Best Buy parking lot in Oxnard where a man handed him a bag. I had opened the bag to see that it was him, and it was, you know, he's decomposing now. So the scent is in the car. We Care never cremated Stewie, and Robert and Tori were never refunded their money. You're offering a service, you're collecting money for that service, and then you're just disappearing. If that's not the definition of a scam, then I don't know what is. Ultimately, Tori and Robert want the people behind We Care to be held responsible and to never have what they went through happen to someone else. They're absolutely taking advantage of grieving pet parents. Now, NBC4 contacted We Care. A family friend says the company is no longer operating, saying the owner is going through medical problems. We Care's website was taken offline today, but other websites linked to the company's phone number are still operating. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Darsha Phillips, NBC4 News.